Hello, tigers everywhere. This is Director Laney at the American Embassy School, and I wanted to share a brief message with you today. Last week I shared a message around a framework for understanding well-being. Today I want to dive into that framework a little bit and talk about the first two aspects of the framework for well-being, positive emotion and engagement. Positive emotion does not mean that we ignore the challenges, the low points, the difficulties of the situation that we're facing right now. Whether that's in a lockdown, in quarantine, maybe you're feeling anxious about your own health or a loved one, um, and you don't know what the future holds. All of that is true, but how we respond determines our well-being. We can respond negatively or we can respond with positive optimism and readiness to face those challenges. Eleanor Roosevelt defined courage as doing the thing that you think you cannot do. And I want to encourage tigers everywhere to have that courage to respond with positive emotion in the face of these challenges. The second aspect of well-being in this model is engagement. Choosing to focus it is easy to try to multitask. When you're on your laptop, whether you're a student or a parent or a teacher, you are using Zoom, you're answering emails, you've got WhatsApp messages coming in and out, TikTok or Snapchat or whatever you use, it's easy to try to multitask. But that does not provide the engagement that you need for your well-being. So I encourage you to stop focus and be engaged, be fully present in the meeting that you're in, be fully engaged in the email that you're writing, the assignment that you're completing, the lesson planning that you are doing. Be productive, get into that flow, that flow, that calm, focused joy of getting something done actually floods your body with neurotransmitters and hormones that make you feel good. And that is, what part, that is part of what well-being is all about. Thank you, Tigers. I hope that you will practice positive emotion and engagement this week as you continue with online continuous learning.